Hello, my name is Daphne and I'm originally from the Netherlands, but I'm currently studying at La Paranta University of Technology in Finland. My name is Alexander. I study in Kiev Polytechnic University, which is in Ukraine. Hi, my name is Gregor and I'm from Germany. Hello, my name is Susana. I'm originally from Mexico, studying now in Tucson, Arizona. Hello, I'm Polina. Uh, I'm from Russia, St. Petersburg State University. And we're working on a sensor that uh, will be mounted on bag valve pumps to help babies, newborns, if they have breathing problems. I've been working on the T-Flow, the airflow sensor, which we've been trying to create from laser-induced graphene in order to uh, uh, measure the airflow in handheld pumps. This is the T-Flow. It's laser-induced graphene burned on the captain by a CO2 laser. And these are gold plates, which we sputtered in order to make the connections. The T-Flow is currently inside of this tube, horizontally, such that if we blow, the um, T-Flow the will detect the flow, which we can measure on the screen. Hi everyone, I'm Zue, I come from Taiwan. Hey, I'm from Ukraine. Hi, my name is Sarah, I come from Denmark. We are working on a garbage bin, which can detect different kinds of material and sort the material so that uh, you don't need to uh, recycle everything yourself. You, uh, now we know that you have these different kinds of bin that you put every type of material in. You have something for plastic, something for metals, something, something for cardboard. But we know that this is very difficult, so we have tried to make a product where you can just put everything in the same garbage bin and then it will sort the material itself. This is the first prototype for our trash can. We also did uh, some handmade tags for the bottle so we can sense it with, uh, with our trash can with this green LED here. Hello, my name is Steph. I'm from the Netherlands. I'm Thomas. I'm from Germany. In 2014, the Nobel Prize was awarded for the blue LED. We tried to build on that and create UV LEDs that can be used to kill different types of bacteria at the same time. So far, it has been great. And the research facilities here at KAUST have allowed us to do research into multiple wavelengths UV LEDs. My name is Maria and I come from Croatia from the University of Algebra. Hi, my name is Leo Schinspan. I'm a physics student from Germany. My name is Christians. I'm from Latvia. Hi, my name is Oksana. I'm from Ukraine. Uh, we have been working on a device that can be implemented into uh, helmets or bracelets or belts. And if a person falls or has any kind of an injury and is not able to call an ambulance by himself and he's alone, and there's no one there to help him, the device will send a distress signal to the emergency room and then the ambulance will come and help the person. Um, we have uh, built uh, from scratch our own board. So this is a measurement of the GPS antenna, which shows the radiation pattern in certain directions. And you can see here in red that the ra radiation in this direction is increased compared to the backside. And this is very important for antennas for wearable devices. I came here for the microelectronic camp and I didn't know anything about uh, microelectronics. But uh, in course of one month, I learned actually quite a lot. I designed my antenna and then I printed it myself. So it's a pretty good experience for me. I am very impressed by the facilities at KAUST. Their labs are available for every student. Even as visiting students, we can use their cutting edge technology and, and machines and instruments. Really, research here is, everything is possible as long as you have an idea. Here, uh, we're only here for a month and still we came up with a new idea. We could develop it because we have the resources, we have the, the support from the professors. I find KAUST a very interesting place, very international. Uh, the weather here is really good in winter because in summer it's too hot, but, uh, but now in winter it's really good. 